If you want a day-night cycle in your game, you're probably going to want to add street lights to your game because moonlighting just often isn't enough. And luckily with Narrative's time of day system, this is really easy to achieve. So in this video, we're going to add these lights that turn on when it becomes nighttime. And you'll see again here, when we reach the morning time, the lights will turn back off. So let me show you how to set this up. It's very, very easy. I'm using this free art provided by Epic Games. You can get this on Fab. It just has some street lights in it, so it's a pretty good way to do it. We need to add a little bit of code to the street lights, so I'm just going to click on one of my street lights, click this little button here, and I'm going to make it into a blueprint. And I'll call it BP Street Lamp. Select. In my street lamp blueprint, I'm just going to add a little point light here. And I'll move the light down. And I'm not going to get the lighting, you know, really amazing. This is just an example after all. Uh, but we'll go ahead and compile that and save. I'm going to make it so that the light is not visible by default because we want it to turn on when the sun goes down. So we'll compile and save. This is how easy it is. In your event graph, use the wait time range node. This comes with narrative. And you can define when you want your street light to turn on and when you want it to turn off. I might just make these parameters. Click the little I so you can actually change it on the street lamp if you want. I'm going to grab my point light. Set visibility. When the time starts, we're going to turn the light on. I'll just copy and paste that and turn the light off. That is it. This will automatically fire when the time of day hits the start and end time. I'm going to click on time start and I'm going to make the lights come on at 6 p.m. let's say. And I'm going to make the lights turn off at let's just say 7 a.m. I will compile and save. And let's actually just try this out. I'm going to hit play in game. You can see that my street light is not turned on. And if I advance the time by five hours, it's not quite night time yet. It's going to run show debug time of day. You can see that it's about to hit the street lamp on time. Can advance the time by one more hour just to speed that up. There we go. <laughs> there you go. The street lamp is on. Um, it is night time, and I'll just show you that it turns off when the time of day ends. So I believe the street lamp is supposed to turn off at 7. So we're just going to advance the time a little bit to speed that up a bit. There we go. So you can see it's about to hit 7, and our street lamp will turn off. Perfect. Check that out. It works flawlessly. And this works for all sorts of things, you know, if you want a certain, maybe you've got a, a, a rooster and it needs to make a crowing sound at sunrise, you know, that sort of thing is really easy to do. There's actually this really cool one as well called Wait, Sunset and Rise. And you might want to use that because you can actually change the sunset and sunrise times. And this node will make it so that if you change it, 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 it won't matter, right? It's going to call when the sun rises and sets. So this is also a very useful one too. You can also just wait for a given time of day. So if at, you know, midday you want to do something, you can do that as well. So these latent time of day nodes are really, really useful here in Narrative Pro. Thanks for watching. If you need any help, feel free to reach out in our support discord. And if you want to try Narrative Pro, the link to buy it will be in the description.